Ladies and gentlemen, we are digging the foundation holes. We, me and Daisy, and this is Daisy's second lesson. Okay, so come on, Daisy. Show them what you could do. Close, close the bucket. Come on, close. Remember, like this. And then bring it back. Okay, up. All right, come on. Up. Now, you can't do two at once. You can't do one at once, so don't try to do two at once. Okay, bring it over here. Straight. Okay, down. Out. Slow down, slow. Okay, close. Curl. In. Up. In. Up. In. Up. Open the bucket. Open the bucket. Open. Out. 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 Down, slow, down. There you go. Down, slow, down, 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 down. Okay. Curl. Curl. There you go. Curl. Come on, curl. Curl. Up. Come on. Up. Okay. Curl. Yeah. Okay. Pick it up. Open the bucket. Open the bucket. Okay, now down, slow, down, slow, down, slow. Okay, curl. Curl. Up, up, come I, up, come I, up, come I, up, curl. Okay, up. Uncurl. Open the bucket. Open the bucket to the right. There you go. Open the bucket. Open the bucket. Open the bucket. Open the bucket. Now down slow. Down slow. Down a little more. Slow. Okay. Close the bucket. 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 Up. Come on. Close the bucket. Down. 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 Close the bucket. Close the bucket. Up, come I, up, come I, up, come I. Close the bucket. In. Now this one, okay. All right. Pick it up. Up the bucket, up the bucket, up the bucket. Open the bucket, open the bucket, open the bucket. Open the bucket, open the bucket. Down the bucket, down the bucket, down the bucket, down the bucket. Close the bucket, 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 up the bucket, come I, come I, come I, come I, come I, close the bucket, stop, now bring, bring the bucket in, come I, come I, up, okay, up the bucket, come I, come I, come I, up, all right, bring it in, 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 up the bucket, up the bucket, up the bucket. Ah, very good. And that is much better than what happened yesterday. Okay, now you try it on your own. You know how to do it. Pick it up, start in the back over there. Okay, now down the bucket. Go ahead, you do this one on your own. Come on, come on. good you did us you did a whole cycle on your own very good okay you done yeah. yeah okay come on out honey look at her hands let me see your hands 
Put them in the sun. Put them in the sun. This is Rabbi Jew Barker and Lisa May in, in the, the Philippines, Philippines, baby. Oi, okay. vey, and, and shalom, shalom from, from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. And they're all number one. Ladies and gentlemen, and children of the planet Earth. This is a mini me. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what I discovered because of the never ending series of the Zionist Jewish bastards that are in control of every aspect of our media, every publication, movie industry, and the television industry. And the fact that I have put out a challenge to more than 28 different colleges and professors to prove my theories about the codex in the Bible that directly pertains to the 3,300 pictographs on the one dollar bill. I have put out a challenge and have received zero responses in a year folks because they don't want my information to go public because it destroys the foundation of Catholicism, of Christianity, of the Judaic philosophies. It destroys their ability to walk around in dresses and stick it up the poop shoots of the people that have become subversive or, or slaves to the Roman Catholic Church and the Zionist Jew principles of this planet. That's why they will not buy my story. And that's why they won't even debate me on television. Not because I have jingle bells, or because I wear the Star of David, or because of that kind of shit. None of that shit. They won't debate me because Michael Fazio, the crazy bastard from Howard Beach, has proven that there is a codex between the one dollar bill and the Bible, and that whatever created the words in the Bible also created the 3,300 pictographs on the one dollar bill, and no one who I put the challenge out to to debate me will respond. I have sent them free copies of the book. They won't even acknowledge that they have received free copies. I have put out on videos, I dare you to prove me wrong, and they won't prove me wrong because they know if Michael Fazio, the crazy bastard from Howard Beach, figured out a codex between the Bible and the one dollar bill, and a race of beings, or a godlike entity, or something that we consider to be godlike, that has controlled every aspect of philosophy, religion, and politics since the beginning of recorded history, how did this jerk how did this freaking nutcase, how did this guy with a mini me from Howard Beach, the crazy bastard from Howard Beach, figure out a codex between the Bible and the one dollar bill and 12 billion other people missed it, folks. Now, let's move right into proof that the Zionists have taken over and that there will be, I guarantee it, another 9-11 type event before the Olympics in 2012. I have predicted flawlessly that Obama would put or be responsible or be in charge of two nuclear catastrophes before the end of his term. And Fukushima represents three nuclear catastrophes. Aside from the fact that Korea set off a nuclear weapon when we told them not to. That makes four. Maybe the one that was under the ocean outside the edge of Japan that created the tsunami. That makes five. Five Obama has been responsible if that is the case. And I say it is the case. And who am I to say that it's the case? Other than the fact that I have proven beyond doubt that this Olympic logos that supposedly says the 2012, if this 
two is a Z, and the first three letters of London represent ION because it's not capitalized, then the word Zion, Z, I O N, is spelled from the 2012 Olympic logos. And more proof of this, to make it even more clear, is that when you take the letter two, once again, the letter, the number two, once again, two, and then the I O N, if the two becomes a Z and the first three letters become I O N, that represents Z. I-O-N, Zionism, has in fact taken over the entire aspect of the publishing companies, of the newspaper industry, the war machine now because Obama is a puppet on a string. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Picture this little fella with a, an abomination face. Well, not too far off when you think about it. I'm pretty damn ugly. But picture the little fella underneath there, all by himself, being on a puppet on a string. And then let's move on to how the Zionists are paying attention to Michael Fazio today. That's right, folks. Let's tell you how the Zionists are paying attention to Michael Fazio today. Yahoo sucks a giant dildo burger. Zahu sucks a giant dildo burger, a.k.a. the Zionist dildo burgers in Fukushima fucking you proper. But look, folks, look right inside the square, right at the very corner of the vector. It says 333 views. It says 333 views. It says 333 views. That's why I got the balls. It keeps me from getting stuck. It says 333 views for nine days. And that video is on at least three other channels as the auto video and it's still on 333 views but that video went global it's on 20 different channels worldwide and it still says 333 views for nine days nine okay now let's move past that and let's go into the video that Obama that I said two nukes on Obama's watch I said there would be two nuclear catastrophes on Obama's watch on May 22nd of last year. I said there would be two nuclear catastrophes on Obama's watch of May 22nd of last year. I said there would be two nuclear catastrophes on Obama's watch on, on May 22nd of last year. And the video that you see in my playlist called Two Nukes shows you between the time of 9-11 and two minutes thereafter, I explain that there's going to be two nuclear catastrophes on Obama's watch. And I published it on May 22nd of last year. And it all came true. That's why. No debating society, no theological society, no Christian society, no Judaic society, no university, no publishing company, all that are controlled by the Zionists and the Jewish faction that control everything. Not one of them will debate me because my prophecies have come true. That is physical proof that my prophecies have come true. The fact that the counter on my Yahoo sucks a giant dildo burger video has not moved one hit in nine days and I know 20 people I called up and asked them to hit on it and it hasn't moved once in nine days little old Michael Fazio is being censored by Yahoo YouTube and Google I got a bigger camera now let's move on to the fact that there are 3,300 pictographs on the one dollar bill. And let's just go to the one that is going to depict the death to the American citizens and why. Here is an Indian chief, a representation of an Indian chief, the war bonnet, a bow, a bow and arrows, a bow and arrows the war bonnet of an Indian chief. The feathers that represent Indians 
during the time of olden days. And in case you missed that, an Indian chief's war bonnet, a bow and arrows, a bow and arrows. This was the methodology in which to kill American citizens. This isn't a representation of death per se, it's a representation of how American citizens were killed in 1776. But in today's world, I have repeatedly said that there is a nuclear detonation over the eagle's head. And that's the methodology that they're going to use to murder, maim, and kill 93% of this world's population. This is a nuclear detonation. This represents a different type of chief, the commander-in-chief. This represents the United States government. This represents the old methodology, bow and arrows, death to American citizens. This represents the new methodology. This is a nuclear explosion. This is the new methodology that they will kill American citizens with during the course of Agenda 21. Old methodology, old methodology, old methodology, new methodology, new methodology, nuclear explosion, bow and arrows. Both methodologies in which were the most popular at the two different times in history when they look back on history and see that the American citizens and the people of this world were wiped out and there's hardly any trace of it left all explained to you in the book of Revelation every iota of it explained to you in the book of Revelation and this is why no one on earth will take my challenge because if they do, they know I'm going to get a bigger camera. Seven of my injury. I am have been back to work for three days. Uh, there is some slight swelling, possibly a small infection that's going away. And... Um, the black and blue seems to be subsiding. That ought to brighten up your day. Lots of love from Rabbi Jew Barker in the Philippines, baby. What are you doing over here, honey? I'm crushing the garlic. It's mm. good for your health. Yeah? It's very good for your health. It, it helps your stomach, and it helps, it helps fight infection. Mm -hmm. I told Daisy that the other day, and she's been making me chopped garlic every day. Fresh chopped garlic, a bulb. I eat one bulb of garlic every day. Thanks, honey. Mm, welcome. My name Shalom From, From Rabbi, Rabbi Joe Barker, Barker in the Philippines, Philippines baby. baby.